Hello and welcome. We're continuing to read through the book of Psalms, and tonight we find ourselves in Psalm chapter 39. This is a psalm of David, a psalm in which David appears to be under the discipline of the Lord and ultimately is seeking the Lord to show him how transient life is and that life is but a hand breath, that man's life is but a vapor. And so these are some very powerful things that we're reading in this psalm, powerful to, to contemplate, powerful to think about, and ultimately they're life-changing. When we think of the Lord and his eternality, when we think of ourselves as people created by God and how quickly life goes. I want you to think of your own life. I just think yesterday I was five years old, it feels, and today I'm 46. Now I'm raising children and I'm getting older and life is, is moving very, very fast. But I know that life on earth is important. I know that everything that I think and do, it matters. And David is ultimately seeking the Lord for help and grace. And he's coming to these great realizations that life is more about God and that his treasure truly is the Lord. And so as we read this psalm together, I, I wanted to challenge you. I want you to think about how flippantly we approach life at times, but ultimately that every breath matters. And one day we will all find ourselves standing before the Almighty. And the one thing that is going to matter most is how did we respond to the gospel of his son? What was the focal point of our life? Were we living as a humble servant to the Lord? Did we live in obedience to his word? Did we live under the fear of the Lord or the fear of man? Did we seek the Lord and his glory or did we seek our own good and our own glory? And ultimately, the gospel is the only way that we can stand before God on that day and be right before him. The Lord sent his son to die in our place. He died as a substitute for us in an atoning work. And there was a great exchange that took place on the cross, our sin for his righteousness. So friends, if you have faith and trust in Christ, then you're in good shape. But you have to strive every day. You have to continue to walk in his ways. And I think like David here, ultimately we need to be reminded of how quick life is, how short it is, that it is but a hand breath. And ultimately we will be standing before the Almighty. So let's, let's read through the psalm together and we'll pray through it. I pray it's a, it's a blessing to you, an encouragement to you. Psalm chapter 39, you can turn with me. For the choir director, for Jeduthun, a psalm of David. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I will guard my mouth, as with a muzzle. While the wicked are in my presence, I was mute and silent. I refrained even from good, and my sorrow grew worse. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, Make me to know my end, and what is the extent of my days. Let me know how transient I am. Behold, you have made my days as hand breaths, and my lifetime as nothing in your sight. Surely every man at his best is a mere breath. Surely every man walks about as a phantom. Surely they make an uproar for nothing. He masses riches and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I have become mute. I do not open my mouth because it is you who have done it. Remove your plague from me. Because of the opposition of your hand, I am perishing. With reproofs, you chasten a man for iniquity. You consume as a moth what is precious to him. Surely every man is a mere breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner like all my fathers. 
Turn your gaze away from me, that I may smile again before I depart and am no more. There is a refrain. Surely every man is a mere breath. Surely every man at his best is a mere breath. This is very, very important for us to think on these great truths. This is very much like the book of Ecclesiastes. What is going to matter most? We're all going to, to die, to stand before the Lord, and he will bring everything to judgment, everything to light. And so we must fear the Lord and obey his commands. This is a sobering psalm. It's very sobering. It's, uh, it's sad to think about, ultimately, that life is a vapor, and all of the good that we experience in this life, it, it passes. But we have a Heavenly Father that is eternal, and we want to be anchored to Him. And we want to be anchored to His love, uh, because we know that if He loves us, he, he, will, he will stay with us. He'll rescue us. And no matter where we are, He'll search for us. We can seek him because of his great love. And so I want to pray through this psalm together and uh, let's just seek the Lord. Let's seek the Lord together. Lord God, we, we come before you and we thank you, Lord, that uh, indeed, Father, you are the giver of life. And Lord, our life, though uh, it seems to crawl at times, Father, when we look back, we see that uh, it rapidly passes by like a vapor, Lord like a breath, Lord. And it seems that, Father, we can't slow it down. Uh, Lord, one day we will stand before you. Father, we need to recognize this now, uh, the importance of our mortality, the importance of, Lord, our transientness, Lord. As David is recognizing here that, Lord, there's no way to escape you. And Father, that Lord, you discipline men. Uh, Lord, your children are disciplined by you because of your great love. Lord, that you want to produce holiness and righteousness inside of us, Lord. And Father, that our ways would be pure and holy. And Father, ultimately, your heavy hand of discipline, it rests upon your children, Lord. And we often find ourselves in need, Lord, of reproof. But that is the way of life for us. I pray that you would humble us, Lord, and help us to seek after discipline, Lord. Help us to long for it and love it. Lord, help us to do, Lord, everything in, in our own strength, Lord. Father, to seek your discipline. And Father, I, I just thank you for this psalm. I thank you uh, for this beautiful refrain, Lord, that every man, even at his best, is a mere breath, Lord. And Father, that, Lord, our life is short. But Father, that, Lord, you reproof us and, and you chasten us. And Lord, uh, Father, you are with us. And so as David says, hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner like my father. Lord, we are indeed passing through. We, we are sojourners, Lord. But all who have their faith in Christ, Lord, find that our citizenship is in heaven, Lord, where you are. Lord, where you're seated at the right hand of the Father. And Lord, that one day you will come again. Lord, you will take us up to be where you are. Lord, help us to humble ourselves and walk in the fear of the Lord. Lord, sober us. Lord, help us not to seek after sin. But Father, rather help us to seek after you, to treasure you in our hearts, Lord, to live for you every day. I pray for, Lord, all of the members of Sovereign Grace. I pray for those who are listening in, those, Lord, who are under uh, the care of, of the elders at Sovereign Grace, Lord. Father, that you would bless them, uh, Lord, with this realization that, that David had, uh, had come to here in this psalm that life is short, that the best of men are, are men at best, that the best of men, Lord, in their lives, it's a mere hand breath, Lord. Father, vapor quickly 
dissipates, and so does life. So Lord, help us to live for Christ. Help us to say like Paul, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Father, help us to, to love you more, to seek after you more, Lord, to truly treasure you, and, and Lord, to be prepared for the day where we will stand before you. Father, I pray that you would help us during this uh, difficult time, and Lord, all the confusion, Lord, that we're experiencing, and, and Lord, that you would bring clarity and light and wisdom to our leaders. Father, help them to lead and guide us, Lord, with your grace. Father, help us not to fear or worry, but Father, help us to be faithful in the very little things, Lord, because Lord, if we're faithful in the little things, we will be faithful also in much. And so Lord, I just pray that uh, you would work, Lord, your holiness within us, Lord, uh, that you would never cease to discipline us when, when it is needed, and Lord, that we would cherish your hand of discipline and seek after it, knowing, Lord, that that is the way that we continue on the path of life. So, Father, we lift these things up to you and we thank you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Thank you for spending time in God's word. And I pray that this psalm is a blessing to you. I encourage you to read through this psalm more and read through the, the book of Ecclesiastes that really tackles some of these uh, amazing truths and some of the enigmas of life, but uh, gives clarity that God wants us to enjoy this world uh, as a gift from his hands, uh, that we would never place the things of the world above him, but to enjoy the things that he has made and given us, knowing full well that one day, one day very soon, we will stand before him. So let's give thanks to the Lord Jesus who prepares us for that day. Amen. Amen.